In today's video, we will talk about the worst blunders played by the Grand Masters in the World Championship match, which is the biggest stage in the chess. So let's jump to our blunder number 5. This insane blunder happened in the 1987 World Championship match between two legendary world champions Antonelli Karpov and Garry Kasparov. In this position, Karpov is white and Kasparov is black. It is black to move and if you look at the position, Karpov king is boxed on h3 having no squares. If somehow one proper check is given to white king, he will get checkmated. Here Kasparov saw that he can't take on g4 because rook is defending that. So he tried to deflect the white rook with rook to a1. But this is a terrible blunder because of a simple move queen takes g6. Now g4 square is defended and Kasparov blunders a rook for free plus checkmate is being threatened. If you think that was the worst blunder you saw then let's jump to blunder number 4. After seeing this astonishing blunder I can guarantee you you will never get ashamed of your terrible blunders. This game was played in 1892 World Chess Championship in round 23. Between two legendary players with the white side we have Mikhail Chigorin and with the black side we have Wilhelm Steinitz. It is black to move and Steinitz plays rook to d2. It is a completely winning position for Chigorin and even engine is giving plus 3 advantage to white. Here Chigorin just have to grab the pawn on b7 as he is just piece up. But here in this position you guys will not believe but he plays bishop to b4 and got checkmate it in 2. Here bishop was the only piece that was defending the checkmate but he forgot that and played bishop to b4. If you think that was shocking let's jump to blunder number 3. This blunder made the chess headline for the long time. This position occurred in the 1978 World Chess Championship round 17 between two legendary players Viktor Korchnoi versus Anatoly Karpov. Here Korchnoi is white and Karpov is black. It's white to move and Korchnoi has played a terrible blunder with rook to a1. Now it's made in 3 for Karpov, can you guys see it? I will give you guys 3 seconds to find this checkmate. So it starts with a brilliant knight sacrifice on f3. Now if you accept the knight rook to g6 followed by knight to f2 is a checkmate. And if you don't knight to f2 is still a checkmate. Now the blunder I have put on number 2 was played by magnificent Magnus Carlsen. This game was played in 2014 World Chess Championship between Vishwanathan Anand and Magnus Carlsen. This is game 6 and Carlson has a white piece and Anand has a black pieces. In this position Carlson plays a tactical blunder with king to d2. This move allows Anand to win 2 pawns with knight takes e5, rook takes rook is forced and now knight takes c4 with a check. Even if you attack the knight with king to d3 just knight to b2 and Anand has a completely winning position. But Anand just believed in Magnus and blunders back with a4 and you know what happened next, Anand lost the game. And number 1 is the blunder which made chess famous. Yes, you heard that right. This match was played between Robert James Fisher versus Boris Paskey in 1972 and this is game 1. In this position, Fisher made the world most famous blunder with bishop takes h2. Paskey just plays g3 and bishop is trapped. Fisher tried to somehow save his bishop but in the end it was never enough. So tell in the comments which was your most famous blunder in this series. And also like and subscribe the channel for more chess videos.